Are pit bulls truly the most dangerous dog breed, or is it a reputation unfairly earned? This question, often asked, stirs up passionate debates. Pit bulls, widely known and often feared, carry a reputation for being aggressive and deadly. Each year, the statistics of fatalities involving these dogs make headlines, painting a grim picture. Yet there's an underlying narrative that suggests these dogs are misunderstood, victims of misrepresentation. So, to understand this breed better, we delve into their history. Pit bulls originated in the United Kingdom during the 19th century. The breed, as we know it today, was created by crossing bulldogs and terriers, combining the strength of the bulldog with the agility and tenacity of the terrier. The result? A dog breed that was energetic, sturdy, and incredibly determined. Initially, pit bulls played an integral role as farm dogs. Their versatility and hardworking nature made them excellent companions for farmers. They were used for herding livestock, guarding property, and even as family pets. However, their strength and tenacity were also exploited for more sinister purposes. Pit bulls were utilized in blood sports like bull baiting, where their natural traits were taken advantage of for gruesome entertainment. But as the 19th century progressed, public sentiment shifted. Blood sports were deemed inhumane and were eventually outlawed. This left the pit bull breed in a bit of a quandary. But it wasn't long before, with blood sports outlawed, these dogs found a new role across the Atlantic. In America, pit bulls transformed from fighters to family pets. This transition wasn't without its challenges, but it was a testament to the breed's adaptability and resilience. In the early 20th century, pit bulls were often referred to as nanny dogs due to their remarkable patience with children and their protective instincts. They were thought of as loyal companions, always ready to protect their families. Their popularity didn't stop at the family home though. The pit bull's image was frequently used in American advertising and entertainment. They were the canine stars of many early Hollywood films, and their bravery and determination were celebrated in countless stories and songs. Beyond their roles in families and popular culture, pit bulls also served in the military. During World War I, a pit bull named Stubby became a national hero, saving countless lives on the front lines. His service highlighted the breed's courage and loyalty further cementing their reputation as an integral part of American society. However, the late 20th century saw a shift in the public's perception of pit bulls. Illegal dog fighting rings began to gain traction, and pit bulls, due to their strength and tenacity, became the breed of choice. This illicit activity cast a dark shadow over the breed, causing many to view pit bulls as dangerous and aggressive. But in recent times, pit bulls have been at the center of controversy. This shift in perception has resulted in heated debates about the breed's nature and the role of responsible pet ownership. Today, pit bulls are often in the news for the wrong reasons. It's a statement that rings true for many, and recent statistics paint a picture that can be hard to ignore. Reports indicate that pit bulls are involved in a significant proportion of fatal dog attacks, a fact that has led to widespread breed-specific legislation. Many places around the world have enacted laws that limit, or even outright ban, the ownership of these dogs. These laws are fueled by the belief that pit bulls are innately more dangerous than other breeds. Yet, this idea is a matter of intense debate among experts and dog lovers alike. On one side, you have those who argue that pit bulls are inherently violent, bred for centuries to be fighting dogs. On the other, you have those who believe that any dog, regardless of breed, can become dangerous if mistreated or poorly trained. In the midst of these ongoing debates, animal rights groups and responsible owners are working tirelessly to change the reputation of pit bulls. They argue that these dogs, like any other, are a product of their environment and their upbringing. They believe that with proper training, socialization, and love, pit bulls can be as gentle and loving as any other breed. The question then arises, so are pit bulls truly the most dangerous breed, or are they victims of circumstance? The answer may not be as black and white as we might think. In this video, we've explored the journey of pit bulls from farm dogs to family pets, and sadly, to feared creatures. We've traced their roots back to their origins, observed their transformation as they arrived in America, and examined their current reputation. We've also delved into the ongoing debates surrounding this misunderstood breed. It's clear that their behavior is largely a product of their environment and upbringing. This journey tells us that pit bulls, like any other breed, are greatly influenced by their environment and upbringing. So the question remains, is it the breed or the deed? 